The following information is intended for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. The views expressed do not reflect those of this broadcaster. Should you choose to implement this information, please do so only with the assistance of a licensed medical professional. Neither the presenter nor this broadcaster assume any responsibility for any adverse effects or consequences that may result. Imagine if someone you didn't know walked up to your family in the middle of Walmart just to encourage you, to challenge you, to think differently and approach everything in your life in a way you'd never considered before, and to change your life in 15 minutes or less. That's exactly what happened to my family thanks to author, poet, and speaker, Sebastian Byers. And he's about to give you a health awakening. Welcome to The Health Awakening. I'm your host, Scott Laird. You've probably never heard of him before, but you're about to. His name is Sebastian Byers. I had no idea who he was when we encountered him one day in front of the strawberries display in the produce department of Walmart. But within minutes, I knew I had to have him on The Health Awakening so that you could meet him. And maybe he could change your life the way he's changed mine. Sebastian Byers is not a doctor or a chiropractor, a health expert. A health expert in the physical sense, that is. But I consider him to be a doctor of positivity and he can heal the way you think about life in just a few minutes. For 40 years, he's been a poet and a writer. He's been on TMZ several times, NPR radio four times. He has several other books on the go, and he even writes greeting cards, and that seems fitting for a guy who can really make you think. Sebastian Byers, welcome to The Health Awakening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, welcome. Yes, sir. Well so, uh, now, I told the story briefly here of how we met in Walmart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I had come in there with my, my wife and my son. Uh, I had gone to get something, and no sooner than 10 seconds later, I turn around, and I see this guy intently talking to my son. Yes. Now, you had noticed him because he was an athlete. Is that right? Yes. Okay, now, why did you pick him out and go, I have to go talk to that kid? What, what was this all about? The reason that I picked that kid out is because... I've been studying people for 55 years, and I see people walking around every day at Walmart and everywhere, and I know what's missing from all of their education. I know what they're not getting every day. It's like I'm the guy that sees flowers like everybody else, but I know exactly what the flowers need, so I make sure that I tell people things that I know they haven't gotten from anyone else because one thing that I tell people all the time is absolute confidence lives a completely different life than doubts and fears and insecurities. So I want to add to that man and prepare him like he's a Marine going to Vietnam. You know, because I wrote the line, whatever has never been a good plan, but prepared is not scared. And that's mm. why I tried to tell him something good. That was really excellent. I came over I, because my wife had looked at me. She didn't have a look of panic on her <laughs> eyes, but she was like, uh, get over here. Yeah, yeah, look at yeah, and so I, I came and stood by my son, if you remember. Yes. And I'd, I listened for you for a couple of seconds and I didn't stop you because you were saying something really important to him. You were saying that uh, from now on, you know, you don't want him to be negative. Uh, yeah. And that, that from now on, I'm not mom, and she, or I'm not dad, and she's not mom, because we are now the agent and the manager. Absolutely, absolutely. You know what, a lot of children, the reason I was speaking that information right there was because a lot of people all over the world are taught um, um, stranger danger. They're taught stranger danger. And, and that's all well-intended information. But unfortunately, 90 plus percent of the time, the danger is not the stranger. It's your teammates, neighbors, you know, the, the family, friends. And if anyone calls social services right now and says, when y'all got to the scene to investigate what happened, who did it? And if you call the police department right now and say, when you get to the scene to investigate what happened, who did it? You know, most of the time it's people you see and people you deal with, and it's not, of course, there are strangers that, that hurt people, but most of the time we're more surrounded by people we know. And, and, and I, I told him to, to make all of the problems from that go away is to know this. There are some top celebrities in Hollywood who never ever get in trouble because 100% of their choices and decisions go through their agent and their manager. And I told him that from now on, you and his mom are his agent and his manager. 
And if everything goes through you and his mom, his agent and manager, then nothing bad on earth will ever get to him. Now, and I, and I was telling him that, imagine he's down the street and he's hanging out with a friend and that friend says, hey man, let's, just, let's drink this liquor, we're gonna get drunk. And he tells that friend, you gotta talk to my agent and my manager. That's my mom and my dad. And then he's down the street at another friend's house and that friend says, hey, we're gonna smoke this marijuana, man, we're gonna get high. You want some? And he tells his other friend, you gotta talk to my agent and my manager. And I mean that. If everything goes through you and your wife, nothing bad in the world will ever get to him. Now, and I also told him that your favorite mess is the mess that was never made. You won't have to clean it up or straighten it out if you never allow it to happen, right? That's right. You see, and there are some events that will not let him be who he would have been if those events had not ever happened. Mm. Now, I get the feeling you, you feel comfortable talking to teens, and you know, they, they're, they absorb, they, they, they will listen to you. So uh, do, do you get to talk to kids a lot about this kind of thing? Absolutely. I talk to people of all ages, everywhere, as many, and as many opportunities as I get, because, like I said, I know what's missing. I know what they have, haven't gotten. And the reason that so many people that I've never met before stopped in Walmart and, and listened to a guy they've never seen before is because once I begin to speak, they see I know what I'm talking about. And they know how long they've been needing to hear that information. You know, because there are parents in their home with their children, and it's like a Russian talking to a Chinese person. They don't know what to say to get through to their own kids. Well, I'm an expert on getting through and showing people some information that makes the hard stuff simple, that makes the big things small, that makes the complicated easy as pie, you know? And, and all of a sudden, communicating with your own child becomes a new thing, and, it's, and it becomes a lot more effective than it used to be because of the information that you picked up from a guy at Walmart or wherever we met. <laughs> you know, that, it's, and I'm glad you did that because isn't that true that usually the, the kid won't listen to, oh, that's just mom and dad, but if you tell him something that I've been trying to tell him for, for a long time, he'll listen to you. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, ain't that amazing? You know, I mean, it's, it's like the sound of the refrigerator. You live with it every day, so you can't hear it anymore. Yeah, you, know? yeah. you see? And most of the time, people can't hear the people that they see every day. But when a stranger uh, comes up, all of a sudden their brain focuses on what this person is saying because they don't see see this guy all the time. And I am so glad that I was able to do that because you know what, if you bought some milk, that milk could go bad. It will go bad. This information does not go bad. Excellent, all right, well, we are speaking with Sebastian Byers about the power of positivity and we'll be right back with more from The Health Awakening. All right, well, welcome back to The Health Awakening. Before the break, we were talking with our guest, Sebastian Byers, about the power of positivity. And I'm noticing, Sebastian, the, uh, the title of your book here, The Secrets to Empowering the Invaluable You. I love that because on The Health Awakening, we always talk about empowering your immune system to take care of the physical body. But this is more about your, your mental state, how you think and how you can uh, change your, your outlook on life, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. You see, the mind is infinitely powerful, you know, and we don't tap into that. And one thing I've told many people is it is absolutely amazing the, the way you see things once you begin to believe. Believing bring things to life. You know, when you believe I can climb Mount Everest and you believe I can beat this situation, I, I believe I can straighten my health out. But one thing that, that, that most people never do is they never tap into that. They, they look outward, and, and they look outward into the world, and they think 100% of the answers that can straighten my life and, my, and, and myself and my family out, it's out there, and they don't look within. Imagine it's Christmas time, and everyone in the room got, has gotten gifts. And the whole time while we're watching, while everybody has their gifts right in front of them, we are staring at everyone else and seeing what they got, but we don't check with what we have. Remember, it only takes a second to open up a gift that someone gave you for Christmas or your birthday. But God's gifts, the Creator's gifts, don't have a bottom. The more you reach within, you're gonna discover things no one's in the world's ever seen before. And one of the most powerful gifts that you were given is your mind, but we've been taught to believe that, that there's always something or someone else more powerful than us. You see, but one thing that you have to know is you are infinitely powerful and you can be things that, that, that people believe is impossible if you just believe. That, and you were, you were made by an infinite power that cannot be stopped and that power lives within you. But, but one thing that, that most people know is if they have any plans on running over you, they can never tell you how powerful and how important you are because once you know that, you won't go back to the old life. Yeah, isn't that amazing? And, and I find that... You know, what you're talking about here is a spiritual principle. It's beyond what, you know, what, what we can 
touch or imagine. Yes. And uh, you know, I, I got a sense of that in the store. I never told you this, but when I walked away from that, that situation, you went your way and we went ours in the store in Walmart, I asked my wife, how much did you tell him about our life when I was sitting over there before I came over? And she said, I didn't tell him anything because you had hit on so many things in our life uh, that you probably didn't even realize uh, that you were speaking your, you know, God was speaking through you to us. Absolutely. And uh, that's just a beautiful thing that you just, you can't, uh, you can't put a value on, you know? That's why it's the, the empowering, the invaluable you, I guess is why you call it that, yes, right? Yes, the invaluable you. You know what? And, I really trust my gifts. I mean, I really trust my gifts. You know, when you see a bird flying, does he look like he doesn't trust his wings? I don't know. You know what? Trust your gifts, you know, and, and I really do. So, so one thing I know is I know what's missing from people. I know what people are not taught. So when I run up to a family I've never seen before, I know that they haven't heard 99% of what I'm about to say. So, so I, I give people the real information. Now, athletes must really grab onto that because they know if you just uh, visualize, a lot of athletes do visualization. So you visualize yourself going up to the net and, and scoring or uh, staying on a beam on gym, in gymnastics or something like yes. that. They know this. Uh, so you know that it, that's why uh, athletes resonate with you, I'm assuming, because yes. they know what you're talking about. Uh, absolutely. I helped a kid run a 989 a 984 and a 982 100 meter, and he made the 2008 Olympics. And he had, he had previously ran at Clemson for four straight years, and he ran 10 seconds, for, you know, for four years. And just before our conversation, he he ran a 9996. And then I ran into him at Walmart at two o'clock in the morning, and I told him some information, and he listened to me and ran a 989, a 984, and, and he made the Olympics. And then just after the Olympics, he ran a 982, and that was uh, Travis Paget. Goodness. Sounds like you do, your, you do your best work at Walmart. Uh, I'm telling you, you know, I, I get people wherever I see them, all over town. Yeah. All over town, and I can't stop. And, and on Facebook, I have a literal million miles of thank yous from coaches and teachers and parents, and, and I've helped people through things. But I, I was talking to a friend of mine at Office Max a couple of months ago, and she had her 13-year-old granddaughter uh, with her. And she said, and, and that little girl, after I finished talking to her and her friends, she asked me if I would come to her, her school and talk to all her friends because they are always talking about killing themselves at, at mm. 13 years old. You know, so I told the little girl that, you know what, when you turn on the light, the darkness goes away. When you turn on the light, the darkness goes away. If we went up to the sun and got on a spaceship and got off the spaceship and walked around on the sun, we wouldn't find one shadow or any darkness on the sun because there's so much light, the darkness can't exist. Put that much light in your head and that much light in your heart, that much positive, right? Mm. And you know what? If you feed yourself, you won't have to wonder who's going to feed you. So you got to give those things to yourself. you got to tell yourself great things until only great things are normal. You know, and, and another thing I've told many people is the reason that you are not afraid of 2 plus 2 is because you know the answer is 4. Once you know the answer, you don't ever worry about the problem again. Whether the problem is two plus two or jealous evil people. Once you know the answer, you don't worry about the problem. And that's why I tell people information so they'll be able to defend themselves. Then the thing that destroyed them the day before can't touch them today. Wow, we are talking about the power of positivity and believing in yourself with our guest today, Sebastian Byers. We'll be right back with more from The Health Awakening. Welcome back to The Health Awakening. Before the break, we were talking with our guest, Sebastian Byers, about the power of positivity and uh, seeing the inherent abilities that God has given you. And Sebastian, uh, we're, I'm just amazed by everything we're talking about so far today. Uh, you've mentioned that uh, Olympic athletes, you've spoken with them to help them improve, to uh, uh, kids, teenagers, to help turn the tide in their thinking. And uh, celebrities have also uh, grabbed onto your, uh, your, your teaching. So how did that all come about? From... Uh Book signings and speaking engagements and, and stuff like that. Like when I met Terry O'Quinn from The Blacklist, it was, um, I had a book signing in Hickory and he was shooting some scenes for, for, for something in, around Hickory and he came into my book signing. And, uh, I, I, the second I saw him, I, I couldn't believe that that guy was there. <laughs> and, and so we, so he walked up and we, we talked and I, and I, and I, I met the, you know, some of the other people that he had with him. And, uh, and he told me that to watch out for his new show that will be out in 30 days from then called Millennium. But the show Millennium was about to, to come out and it hadn't come out yet. 
and I was uh, had a book signing in Charlotte when John Leguizamo from Carlitos Way and some of Sam and you know and, and Ice Age. Who, he was a voice. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, Ice Age. Yeah. Yes, yes. He he came in when he was in Charlotte with uh, Donnie Wahlberg and and uh, and Forrest Whitaker, and they were shooting the movie Body Count. You know, and and when I wrote the national poem for the kids of all school violence. I, I wrote, I put out my book called Get the Message, and I sent it to the, the White House. And when President Clinton was there, and I got a thank you card from uh, from President Clinton and Hillary Clinton for writing the national poem, and, and uh, it, it, that was amazing. And, and one thing that, that, I've, that I've, I've told many people is once you begin to take steps toward your dream and your, your gift, the creator is going to confirm to you that Every bit of what's happening, every bit of what's happening is what he laid out for you. So the amazing things happen. I never met these celebrities until I put my books out and started writing. So it's all a message from, from God. So just don't, don't believe the negative voices in your head. Is that essentially it? You know what? There are no negative voices in my head because I took on the Vietnam saying, kill them all. And, and that's exactly... What I do, I, I, there's so much light, the negativity can't exist. It exists in a lot of people's heads, but not mine, not mine, mm. ever. You know, the only thing to do with 100% of your losses and bad experiences is learn from them. That's it. Learn from them. Not beat yourself up with them. Learn from them. And, and, and that's all. So, so as far as negative thoughts, most people have them. Not me. <laughs> it's a great way to live, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Now, you've uh, had more than these books. This is your newest book up here. It's a two-part series. Uh, this is part one that we have in front of us here, Mastering the Immortal Power of Words. Mm -hmm. uh, it's your latest book. We'll have your website on the bottom of the screen here. Folks can get it there. Yes. But this was not your first book. Uh, the first book that, from which you met the celebrities was, what book was that? Get the Message. Okay. And that, that was my first book. And then the second one was when uh, I met James Avery and uh, Brian McKnight and, and a bunch of other celebrities, when they, they picked up my book, and uh, they picked up my book called The Perfect Things to Say, and the book after that was, was called My Kingdom for Happiness. And throughout all of my books, I, I teach people information that, 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 that is not some typical cliche stuff. It's all my information from studying people for 55 years, and you won't believe that all the celebrities I met and the people who read my stuff and... And the people have shaken my hand and told me it was a pleasure to meet me. And I'm looking at this celebrity that the whole world knows. And I can't believe that they happened to meet me, you know? Wow. Well, all they needed was to hear it from you. I'm sure they have a lot of self-doubt, too. You know, these people that we think have all the confidence in the world. Yes. Uh, usually, it's, it's quite the polar opposite. Uh, yes. It, it, you know, you see, because most people are not taught the power that they have to create the life that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they think that, that, that I'm just supposed to walk around and, and grin, and, and they've become used to rattlesnakes. They're used to doubts and fears and worries, and they think that you're just supposed to live with them. Well, let me tell you something. Your doubts don't love you. They don't respect you. Your doubts and your fears, they all have a plan to destroy every day of the rest of your life and every important thing that pops up. So never take orders and instruction from doubt. Never doubt yourself for one second. Now, I'll tell you one thing that I've said many times in front of many, many people. I am so gorgeous, I will marry myself. Uh, I will send me <laughs> flowers every day. You know, yeah. I'm telling you, I love every bit of this, this guy right here because I am not made by a lemonade stand down the street. I am made by infinite perfection, and you are too. Mm. The only difference is I really believe it, and most people don't. Do you remember that, uh, that poem you recited to my son? Yes. In the story? Would you mind reciting that for our guest? No, oh, this is from... My books, Mastering the Immortal Power of Words, Part 1 and Part 2. This is just a little piece. And this is the part where I cover why people's negative words hurt you. Okay. Right? Believing what they say to you makes all of their hurtful words seem true because trusting what they say they feel makes what they say seem right and real. And once you let your heart begin to take the words that hurt you in, the hurt and anger still goes on when those who said those things are gone. But when your self-esteem is there, your confidence won't let you care. And then through each and every year, you'll smile no matter what you hear. You won't let hurt or anger grow because deeply in your heart you'll know that even when their words are strong, the hateful words are always wrong. So when their names and teasing starts, 
Don't ever let it in your heart, no matter what it's all about. Shut everything the saying out. Let loving who you are erase the fear and sadness on your face. Then hateful people can't affect your self-esteem or self-respect. Now, sometimes things go wrong and break. So even at your worst mistake, don't think bad things about yourself or say those things to someone else. Don't joke about the way you sing, your life, your looks, or anything. Because even when you're all alone, the words that hurt could be your own. Because of this, don't ever wait for friends to tell you something great, like words that fill you up with cheer or anything you need to hear. It's nice to hear from someone else, but still say good things to yourself, because if you say nice things to you, you'll always make good things come true. We're speaking with poet and author Sebastian Byers. We'll be back with more from The Health Awakening. And welcome back to The Health Awakening. We were talking with our guest, Sebastian Byers, about believing in yourself and just heading toward the goal. And I think uh, youth are missing out, especially in colleges and high schools. You get to talk to them a lot. What do you think is hindering our youth today? The thing that's hindering our youth is the lack of knowledge about oneself. You know, people, they don't understand how much... Uh, they matter and, and that they have a mission that the world's not supposed to understand. It, I've told many people at these colleges that the most important people in history were all called weird and crazy. Brilliance is not supposed to look like a hot dog. It's probably something no one's ever seen before. You know, everyone in history who did anything important did not make sense to the people around them, right? When you fit in, you don't exist. Don't be just another drop of water in the ocean. Be the tsunami the whole world will never forget. Mm, love it. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for joining us on The Health Awakening. If you want to get a book that has all of this great information that you've never heard before, get Sebastian's book, Mastering the Immortal Power of Words. Uh, for more information about Sebastian, what he does, and how to get him to motivate people in your life like he motivated people in my life, visit sebazpower.com. You'll see that on the bottom of your screen there. Uh, you can also find him on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you again for another Health Awakening. Thank you for joining us today on The Health Awakening. You can catch the replay of this episode and see our complete show archive at healthawakening.tv. For more information about our guests today and all they have to offer, please visit their website on the bottom of your screen. And please remember, the information you saw today is intended for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice, nor do the views expressed reflect those of this broadcaster. Should you choose to implement this information, please do so only with the assistance of a licensed medical professional. Neither the presenter nor this broadcaster assume any responsibility for any adverse effects or consequences that may result.